Today we are going to double our tokens and then we're going to double triple these tokens and then we're going to triple 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 Well, hello there, random person on the internet, and today we are going to create an ungodly amount of tokens. Well, I guess technically you could call it a godly amount, and if you want a godly amount of tokens, you can get them at cardkingdom.com, your place to go for anything magic related. Check them out, a link is in the description, and here we are, and looks like a keep. Let's hope we draw a white sauce to cast this Sky Knight Vanguard next turn. See what our opponent is up to, tapped land. Ugh, and we miss on the planes, play another tapped Stevens and pass the turn. Lano Elf turn 2, I guess we're both a little color screwed here. There's our white mana, but now we can just play this island and Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Chapter 1 triggers, create a Goblin Shaman token that creates a treasure when it attacks. They play another planes and Rosy Cotton of South Lane enters the battlefield, creates a food token and whenever they create a token, they put a counter on another creature they control. Second chapter of the fable allows us to discard up to two cards and then draw that many cards. Throw away the vanguard. Wow, this is kinda awkward here since we need double white mana to cast Monrock. Attack with the goblin, create a treasure token. Oh, and they don't trade the elf for it? Sweet. Cast Monrock Glory Dominus. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many tokens are created instead. And uh, if they don't have removal for this, things are gonna get out of hand real quick. Whoa, what the? Dedicated Dollmaker? When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non-land non-token permanent. Its controller creates a token that's a copy of it, except it's not legendary and it's an artifact? Damn. That would have made a pretty cool real card. <laughs> enters the battlefield, exiles Rosy Cotton, creates a token copy, triggers itself for a counter, creates a food and another counter. Well, we're just gonna play it like they don't have removal here, because otherwise we get completely wrecked right now. Cast Irenicus Vile Duplication. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, except that token has flying and isn't legendary. Now, since we have Mondrak doubling our tokens, we will create two of those token copies. And uh, now that we have three Mondraks, if this goblin attacks and creates a treasure token, we will instead create double, 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 so eight times the treasures. Now, that's already pretty cool, but we didn't come here to mess around, so use 6 treasures to cast Oji Attack Deepest Foundation. If one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, <laughs> 3 times that many tokens are created instead. So the next time we will create a token now, we will create double, 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 triple as many. Let's pass the turn, keep up channel on this Otavara and see if they can stop us. Oji Attack. Yeah, looks like they have the same game plan as us. Too bad they're never gonna untap with it. Play a land and play Bruce. Rudiclat, Telcor, Engineer. Creature tokens you control have haste, that seems pretty useful here. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 2-1 blue Phyrexian Mir artifact token. Then you may choose the token you control. If you do, each other token you control becomes a copy of that token. Right now, this would create 24 Mir tokens, which uh, would already be enough, but let's first use Reflection of Kikijiki to create a token copy of a creature we control to create 24 more more Monrocks. So now once we go into combat, we will create 402,653,184 Mur token, which I will actually just cap off at 224 because of Arena's token limit of 250. Let's turn all of these into Monrocks and now if we could create more tokens, we would create this number, which... I don't even know how to pronounce. Why is there a letter in there? Anyways, a swing in for lethal. Oh, and our opponent doesn't even want to see it. What a shame. And we are right in the next one. Hand looks like a keep. Let's hope they play creatures to strangle. Island, go. Well, tapped land, go. A darker wastes and a healer's hawk. <laughs> well, draw a card. Strangle the bird. Play a triumph. Pass the turn. Land. Jubilant Skybonder, so it costs two more to target creatures with flying? Well, play a land and uh, just keep strangling the birds. Uh, I don't see anything funny about that. Oh, and they just passed the turn. Okay, shock in his demons to play around the mana type, I guess. Legion Warboss? Oh, and it resolves. So at the beginning of combat, we create a hasty goblin token that has to attack this turn. 
Hmm, and they just take it. They do have something up here, huh, but I guess they're not gonna cast it. Ossification to exile the war boss and a fairy miscreant. Oh, and the second vile duplication is pretty nuts if they don't have removal for this Monrock. Pass the turn. Hanged Executioner, that's kind of removal, but we're already gonna have three Mondrax next turn. Let's get this party started. Triple up on the Mondrax, and we're gonna get eight more next turn. Oh, yeah, most people just scoop way before it gets crazy. Let's just skip to the good parts. Like double tripling a vile duplication on Ojeta, creating six copies of it, and then tapping Reflection of Kikijiki to create 4,374 six, six flying god tokens with haste, which immediately fill up the token limit, but we still attack for 1400 damage here, if the opponent would let us. Now let's see what happens if we create 3 copies of Ojitak, use the reflection to create 81 copies of Legion Warboss, and then have each of them create 81 hasty goblins when we go to combat. Oh. Ah, uh, nothing unexpected about this though. <laughs> Even with just a single Ojitak, things get out of hand very quickly. Turns out it's usually enough to just triple everything. Oh, are uh, these some new tokens? And you can even get them hand signed by the crew? And we got new playmats? Well, check them out at mtggoldfishmerch.com. Wow, you're still here after the second ad read, and you even tapped that like button? You did, right? Well, in that case, bonus game! Alright, this hand is missing blue mana, but it's a keep. Opponent, Copperline Gorge, passes back. Well, play a planes, Birth of Miletus enters the battlefield, first chapter triggers, search a library for planes, pass the turn, land, intrepid paleontologist, looks like we're up against dinosaurs, second chapter creates a wall token, play a land, and restoration of Igunjo. Same first chapter as Birth of Miletus, grab another planes, pass the turn, mountain, and Gwenna Eyes of Gal so they have up to 7 mana next turn, that's kinda scary. 2 saga triggers, restoration lets us discard a card. If we do, we can return a permanent with mana value 2 or less from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Birth of Miletus gains 2, player planes, legion warboss, create a goblin. It sadly has to attack so it dies right away. Let's just hope they don't go too crazy on us. Another paleontologist is fine. Pugnacious Hammer Skull, well that's a big boy, another Hammer Skull, untaps Gwenna again, and they swing for four? Yep, this is kinda bad. Restoration flips into a creature, play a land, and a broody clut. Oh no, I forgot to... Yeah, so Arena doesn't automatically order the triggers correctly with broody clut and warboss. Let's turn off auto order for next turn, transform the mirror into a wall, and then create a goblin after this which it should have been a wall as well, but now I guess it has to attack into these dinosaurs. Past the turn, we do have enough blockers to stay alive, I think. Bonehaw Dracosaur, another hammer school. Jeez, swing for 18. Let's jump with a wall so we don't die. And they channel a Buseju to destroy the saga. Well, at least we get a triumph out of it. Oh, wait a second. Uh, vile duplication, create a token copy of Brudiclad, beginning of combat, stack the trigger so Warboss resolves first, create a goblin token, target it with get lost, destroy it and create two map tokens. Brudiclad creates a mur, then we turn all tokens into <laughs> Brudiclad, another trigger, get another mur, turn it into another Brudiclad, and that is seven Brudiclads, all of them have haste, and uh, yeah, that's a good game. Wanna see more of my content? Well check out last episode where our food makes rats and our rats make food. This video and more all in this playlist. Remember to tap that like button, subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.